So you're looking at creating your own clothing brand. Well, I've been there and I can tell you it's a lot of hard work. I've made a lot of mistakes, but through those mistakes, I get to make this video, share them with you with some pointers so that you can get ahead of the game. Let's do this. So you've got your perfect brand name, a brand name that means everything, something you can work with, something you can build on. But have you checked to make sure that nobody else has got this brand name yet? So one of the first things you're going to want to do is check on domain names. When I'm talking about domain names, I'm talking about websites. You're going to check to make sure that your brand name is available. After that, I will check companies register and trademarks. So the good news is nobody else has got your name. Let's get serious register the domain name, commit, move on. So my next question to you is, what is your logo? When I'm talking about your logo, I'm not talking about your t-shirt design. Your t-shirt designs are constantly evolving. Your logo, on the other hand, is that symbol, that graphic, something that stays the same, something that's gonna go on your business card, your stickers, your hem labels, your neck labels, all the way down to your website, something that represents your brand. Whew all this talking, I think it's time for a coffee. Me coffee. Two software packages that are going to save you money. Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. I don't care what anybody says, but Microsoft Publisher or Paint or whatever it's called ain't no design program. The reason why I'm saying this is because it's going to limit you in what you do. If you learn Photoshop and Illustrator, you're going to be able to expand on your creativity. You're going to be able to supply the printers or whoever your suppliers are with the correct files. They're not going to have to charge you for print ready production and all that side of things so just learn these two programs are not paid to say them by anybody it's Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator another tip is sew your own labels in when I started out I bought a tiny little sewing machine this little one here in actual fact right there boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it did its job all I had to do was sew hem labels and neck labels but what I would suggest is don't bother sewing neck labels just make a really really cool design for your neck put the size in there put the fabric content into it again get your screen printer to print print the actual neck labels okay i gotta get on with some printing downstairs so let's roll with that and then we'll come on back So a question we get asked a lot is, should I print my own stuff? Well, my question rather is, can you produce retail quality embroidery and screen printing? And do you have the time to learn all of this? My opinion is, you let the printers deal with the, the quality side of things on the printing and everything, because they know what they're doing, and you rather concentrate on building your brand and building your marketing. They call them chop cables. <laughs> marketing. Marketing is constantly changing. Your most powerful tool is social media. So no matter what you use, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, make sure they're all constant and represent your brand's values strongly. Where do you want your product to be and how hard is it going to be to get there? Oh! <laughs> do you want an e-commerce website? What the hell was that? Man, this is what happens when you start employing employees. That's another thing. Be careful. 
Are you on an e-commerce website to just sell directly to your consumers that way or are you looking to sell through a retailer? If you're looking to go with an e-commerce website, make sure you've got the right domain name, something that represents your brand or is your brand name. You've got to make sure, and you're going to hear me say this a lot, your brand identity stays consistent. So your imagery, your logos, everything stays the same within your brand so you don't confuse your customer. Make sure you've got a good payment system in place. A good payment system to start off with is PayPal. All you've got to do is pay a percentage of your sales. There's no big financial commitment that you have to sign up for months and months and months and months and months. It's easy, set it up, integrate it into your website. Happy days. A good e-commerce platform, an online shop you can use is WordPress or WooCommerce. You can integrate your PayPal system into there for free. The nice thing about WordPress is, is that you can just get a good theme, brand it, own it, make it yours. Happy days again. So you wanna go into retailers. Well, my suggestion is make a list of those retailers, find out who the buyers are. Approach those buyers with the whole caboodle and not just a t-shirt. Unless you're good at smoke and mirrors and hustling, I suggest you take a catalog in and just a few samples of your product. So one thing with retailers and buyers, don't be put down when they come up with no thank you. Just look at your list and go on to the next one. Once you start building your brand, those ones who said no thank you are going to come back. So what's the story about our brand? Our brand was called IMY, I-A-M-W-H-Y. So we managed to get into a lot of retailers and had a good online e-commerce website. But we hit a fork in the road when we had the big financial crisis of 2008. And about 90% of our retailers went under and we lost a lot of stock with them. So I had to make a decision whether to carry on or concentrate on my other business that was growing at a rapid rate and demanding more and more of my time. The good thing is, I can still return to it one day, it's just left in sleep mode. A t-shirt is just a t-shirt. So if you build a lifestyle and a story around your brand, you're gonna start building a community around you. And the bigger the community gets, the bigger you're gonna get. The last thing to think about is listen to others and be open-minded. What happens when you start really getting into your brand, you become boxed in and you stop thinking about what the whole big picture is about. So it's important to listen to others and just be open to ideas. Thanks for watching today's video guys. I will be going to more depth in some other videos later on. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions, just leave some comments below. I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can. Another option is just pick up the phone and give us a call. We can talk you through things, maybe give you some pointers. Then if you're interested in any of the products I used today and the cool coffee machine I used, which I'm going to be using over and over and over, I'll put some links below, not paid by anybody, just some links so you can go check them out. Catch you on the next one.